Hello, everyone. As always, uh, just a few minutes for everybody to join, and also our speaker has to join us. Uh, we'll begin in a couple of minutes. Thank you. Hello, how are you feeling today? Very excited. Very excited. I mean, we just sent out so many things in the past few days. <laughs> so I'm always happy to come in on stage and just talk about it. Um, and I know as well. Yeah, sorry, what? It's been pretty busy. Yeah, they're very busy. And I mean, not everyone was able to like attend our town hall um, at the beginning of the week. So we'll definitely go over certain points uh, around it. Um, and also super excited uh, to have no real here uh, just because like hey. it's so important uh, for, for in terms of like tooling for devs. Right, so it's great to give them some visibility and the and the chance to talk about uh, to talk about them and, and what they do. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, 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 solo Artin. Really excited to be here. How are you guys here? Awesome. How are you? Good, good. Except for the weather. <laughs> How's the weather? Yeah, that's quite terrible. Uh, I'm in Netherlands. Oh, is it is it raining a lot? Yeah, it rains rains a lot and uh, always cloudy. Sometimes, well, the, you know, the weather make you, make you cloudy as well. Definitely. Look, I'm in, uh, I'm in Canada, and the, the past weekend we had uh, temperatures fell to minus 45. Um, wow. So I would have been happy with a little bit of rain. <laughs> Not going to lie. Wow. That's extreme. That, yeah. It's very cold. Yeah. You can't go out. You have to stay inside. <laughs> Okay, I think uh, I think we're ready to start. Um, so let's do that. So welcome, guys. Uh, welcome everybody back to our weekly AMA. Glad to have you here once again. Um, we did have a town hall just a few days ago with RYD, and as usual, uh, every Thursday we do do our partner AMAs. Um, so we have Node Real here, and Node Node Real and Space ID. Uh, we've been collabing for a while, right? Uh, uh, specifically for the API, and I've actually noticed that our community are asking you uh, for the API of Space ID. So in general, exciting to have you here. We're, we're going to be discussing uh, what Node Real is doing. Uh, we're also excited about the BNB Greenfield and the international attention that that's been getting. Uh, well, based on the white paper, for anybody that doesn't know, I'm pretty sure Jimmy will explain more. Uh, but BNB Greenfield is a new decentralized data storage system. Um, BNB token is native there as well. And Node Real is actually the core team of the BNB Greenfield. And we're really thrilled to have Jimmy here because he's the senior solution architect from Node Real. Um, so it's very interesting to have someone from the technical side. Uh, it's it's going to be awesome to have him explain some uh, stuff to us, give some insights from that side. Um, before we begin, I'd also like to mention um, that Node Real and Space ID will be co-hosting a series of campaigns on Galaxy as well. So I'll talk a bit more um, on that at the end. We will also make some announcements for that, so stay tuned. Another thing is going to be uh, a little bit of discussion about the upcoming East Denver. Uh, both Node Real and Space ID are going to be there. We're going to discuss a bit about that. And as usual, we're running the Oat campaign for our listeners. So if you listen in for 15 minutes, um, you will be able to claim the oath, and you'll find the link in the community of this channel. Uh, so that's that, and now we can start the AMA. So Jimmy, once again, uh, really glad to have you here. Um, I'd love to get your um, opinions, your your perspective on the vision and mission of Node Real. Uh, could you introduce yourself and also uh, what Node Real does in a little bit more details? Sure, sure, thanks. I, I feel really excited to be here, and uh, thank you for your invitation. Actually, I'm, I'm the senior solution architect at Noreal. Um, Noreal is a team with the, you know, the hardcore technology experts because we do. Our vision is to enable the best adoption of the blockchain technology to, you know, make our society better. So that's just something we are doing right now because we not only provide the API services but also, you know, the indexing services. The blockchain as service uh, as a uh, blockchain as a service to our customers as well. So uh, this kind of things actually help us to uh, improve the scalability of the blockchain, improve the use uh, you know the usability of the blockchain itself, and also we uh, I'm a solution architect 
I also work with the team to identify the possible use cases of the blockchain for different customers. So it's quite exciting, and uh, I I am very optimistic about the you know the, the blockchain development. Yeah. Got it. Interesting. Uh, definitely, we'll discuss more uh, what you guys are doing, and especially the BNB Greenfield. I think that's very interesting, and I'll get back to you with more questions on that. Uh, just want to head to Mike to Solo now. Uh, anybody that doesn't know, Solo is the uh, head of growth here at Space ID. So Solo, uh, for the Space ID side, we've announced Space ID 2.0. That's coming soon. We're doing the uh, test your raffle right now. Um, just c could you give us a little bit more details? Uh, what's going to happen? Uh, how will that expand the ecosystem of Space ID? Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, I can give a bit a detail on that. As I said in the beginning, like not everyone was able to like attend. Uh, or space hall like three days ago so i'm excited to just like repeat the big lines right for those who were not able to to attend um so like there's been a lot of buzz from our community on twitter and discord uh, about the launch of this new like domain marketplace of so space id 2.0 but the marketplace is just the tip of the iceberg uh for space id 2.0 it's actually four different products built into one uh, right, so like the past few months, uh, our team has been super busy. Our product team, uh, they've worked like tirelessly on developing this new update. Um, and I mean, despite receiving a lot of requests to build a uh, domain marketplace in the community, like we had to keep quiet that it was already in the works, right? Um, and again, like the marketplace is one component of the larger Space ID uh, 2.0 update, uh, which also includes like an aggregated domain search, an aggregated domain registration, and an aggregated uh, management system for domains. Um, like right now, uh, if you own like an ENS domain, for example, uh, and if you own a .vmd domain, a space ID domain, you currently have to go on two different websites, on two different dApps to register uh, and to manage and to search these domains. Uh, but in Space ID 2.0, you can all do it in one place. Uh, and so we're hoping that this also attracts ENS members to come in to Space ID and see that there are other domains from other ecosystems out there. So like why use a product that limits you to just one domain name when you can do everything into one platform? So that's the general idea. And we aggregate .eth, .bmb, and then .arb uh, in this uh, in this platform. But obviously, we'll add many more, uh, either um, domains that we develop ourselves or just uh, partnering with other domain providers and just adding it to it. Um, and with this launch, with this 2.0, like we're no longer just a name service provider. Like we become a complete DAP solution for Web3 domains, right? Uh, so you'll be able through the discover feature to like check the availability of a domain across again BNB chain, Ethereum, and Arbitrum, like all in one place. Uh, and as I said, you'll be able to register, manage, and even compare the costs of these domains via the marketplace, right? Uh, and this marketplace, like from the beginning, like it will aggregate the volume from other marketplaces like OpenSea. So we don't have to wait for volume. Uh, from liquidity of listings to come in on this platform. Like from day one, it will be like the best platform to use for buying and selling domains right from the from the get-go. Um, also, since we control this marketplace, uh, it means we can tailor it to our domain holders' needs and just make it easier to, for example, bulk register domain, uh, make it easier to develop the filters that our holders want uh, and all this. Like we don't need to wait. Um, and also, since we control the marketplace, um, there's not going to be any like scam project that are trying to emulate Space ID. You know, you see a lot of fake collections in OpenSea. It's a big problem that they have. Uh, but obviously, if you go at Space ID, you make sure that the domains you buy are actually the the right ones. Um, and on top of this, like we're going to rake in some marketplace fees that would have otherwise gone to OpenSea or gone to any other platform. But instead. Uh, it goes directly to Space ID as a company, so it adds a lot of value. Also, gives us more um, more resources to again continue those different partnerships and, and secure these different uh, deals. And I mean, all this platform like it's quite extensive, uh, and you'll be able to check it out for yourself uh, pretty soon. And I mean, you can already go on our blog post and look at the screenshots. Uh, it's very very extensive, as I said. They've been doing a great job. 
Uh, and our design team also has been doing a, a great job. Uh, it looks it looks really good, uh, and they deserve like a big round of applause for making it look uh, fantastic. Got it. Thanks for the explanation. And before we head back to Jimmy, uh, going in depth about the BNB Greenfield, uh, I, I saw a lot of questions about uh, when we are releasing Space City 2.0. Uh, like, can yep. you give a comment? Uh, on yeah, the yeah, yeah. So, I mean, uh, very soon, right, we'll invite community members to beta test the platform. It's not going to be open to like uh, everyone. There's going to be some lucky selected users for this. Uh, and if everything goes well, uh, it should be released only in a few weeks. Like we're still aiming to have it released in February sooner than later. Awesome. Uh, thanks for that rundown. And um, now heading back to Jimmy, I think, uh, as I mentioned before, um, about the BNB Greenfield, like it's pretty big news lately coming from BNB chain, right, Jimmy? And uh, we do know that um, is going to utilize BNB as a token, right? So I'm interested to to hear from you. Uh, what's the what's the next? Uh, what's your plan on uh, building Greenfield, like uh, from the node real side? Um, that's 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 true. Actually, the Greenfield actually uh, the BNB smart chain, a uh, BNB chain has released the white paper, and you must have read the the, the quick white paper already. So from the node real perspective, we are actually the access layer. And uh, uh, that means we, we are going to build a couple of things. For example, the Explorer of the BNB uh, Greenfield, so that you can uh, use the Explorer to uh, look into the, the transactions and the, and uh, you know the, the accounts and also the ser uh, storage service provider, etc. So these kind of things are really important to uh, to the users to start using the BNB uh, Greenfield. Another thing is that we are also working on the, you know, kind of the uh, API and uh, and uh, SDK as well, because this this is also the, you know, the interfaces that developers are able to, you know, to uh, to start using the greenfield. For example, uh, we we are trying to develop the, the 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 most common languages SDK so that developers can just use the SDK libraries to. Uh, to to engage with the with the the uh, block uh, the greenfield blockchain, and uh, at the same time we are also developing the the D apps uh, on top of the uh, greenfield uh, greenfield blockchain. So that means uh, it's kind of the user interface that are able to allow users to start using for for example the locking and lockout features, the user account management and uh, the access management. And also the the service storage provider, um, uh, you know the management central. So these kind of things help the users to have a user interface to start using it. So this we we not only the you know this kind of basic basic functions we also develop some you know the the advanced functions features for the for the for the uh, the D apps and the explorer. For example, we can, we can enable the smart search. So if you want to search some of the, uh, you know, the some of the transactions or object, this can this uh, this smart search can help you to find the the, the, the document very efficiently. Yeah. So yeah, super, that's the uh, yeah. yeah. I'm super excited about this. Like uh, I don't know if our, our committee members like know, but I mean, BSC scan is just one you know, uh, explorer like out there, but I mean, what node real you guys have been building like so fast with so many like interesting features, um, where you can start using this as your explorer, uh, also like directly. And I mean, at the pace that you're developing features, um, it, it makes it one of the most interesting place to go to just, uh, search for transactions, uh, for sure. Super excited. Yeah, for, yeah, yeah that's for sure. Uh, interesting. So, Jimmy, like you did mention, like uh, some of the details of what you guys will be doing. But I'm wondering, what's the general vision uh, from the Node real side? Like, what are you guys aiming to achieve, maybe in the long term, uh, with these developments on uh, on Greenfield? Um, I, I would say the Greenfield is very important, um, being very important part because it is the third chain of the BNB ecosystem. So at this moment, we do have a kind of the um, 
decentralized storage network in the market, but uh, it has some problems from the you know the pro programmability perspective, um, performance perspective, and privacy perspective. So the greenfield actually is going to solve this problem with a very easy and easy to use and uh, and a user friendly way. So and of course the performance is also uh, uh, considered uh, from the day one. So from my point of view, the greenfield blockchain and the storage network will be the 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 bet, you know the foundation to the killer applications on top of that. So that. Uh, the tokenization of the, of the, you know, the storage and the files, and uh, the ownership, enable the ownership of the files and the storage, will be very interesting. So we will see a lot of the uh, interesting uh, application will be um, built on top of the solid foundation. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And um, there's kind of the slogan, right? Like oh, for BNB Greenfield, there's one coin and there's three chains. So. Uh, what kind of problems will that be solving, like currently on the BNB chain ecosystem? And will, are there any features that you would like to highlight? Um, like, uh, interested your, to, on hearing your thoughts on this? On the uh, what kind of issues uh, is this recent development solving? Yeah, that's um, yeah. BNB token will be the utility token on the block. I mean, the Greenfield blockchain. So, um, for example, if you um, let me give you a very interesting example, right? So, um, from the program programmability perspective, the greenfield actually is highly integrated with the BSC, right? So, if you deposit your token uh, to the greenfield, you will have an account in the greenfield so that you can start using the greenfield. That's just one way. Another way is that all the objects um, that is um, uploaded to the greenfield for example the, the your file your you know your, your folder or kind of the group um, so allow it, you allow you to manage your you know the access of the files etc all of these things actually are called resources from the from the block, uh, greenfield perspective this resources will be you know uh, mirrored to the BSC mirrored back to the BSC as an NFT right so that means you can you can do transactions you can you can transfer your NFT to others. So the, the access of the files on the greenfield will also be transferred to another user. So that help, you know, enable the, 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 the ownership of the data. So that is the missing part of the existing solutions in the market. That'll be very interesting because the ownership is the foundation to have the, you know, a lot of different use cases and also the, the sustainable economy of our digital era. So that'd be very interesting, and the, that gives uh, you know BNB token as another chance to to use uh, to use it as a utility token in the in the storage solution. So great, awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah if you <laughs> if you if for example if you want to sell a book, um, yeah, um, yeah, you can just upload your book to the greenfield. To the storage storage uh, storage service providers, and then the book will be measured as an FTE. So, so that if you can, of course, uh, there there is a uh, ownership of the book will be uh, saved in, in into the into this NFT, and you can also um, transfer the NFT to others to allow you know, uh, for example, you can create a collection of NFTs to manage the access access management of the of the book. And you can transfer the NFT tokens to others, so the others can join the community to access the book. Of course, this is also not just, yeah. This is awesome. Very interesting use cases, I guess. I, I like that to uh, make this uh, concrete examples for users to, to grasp, like what, what this means. I think this really helps uh, open some eyes for sure. Yeah, this is just one case. It will, you know, uh, the community. And the use, users who have the knowledge and uh, and uh, has the better, you know, uh, uh, insights how to make fine, how to make more more use cases on, on top of the on top of the foundation. I would say in the coming years, I guess. Yeah, definitely interesting. And uh, a book example is always good. I think everybody understands a book example. So thank you. <laughs> yeah. 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 And uh, uh, Solo, I saw you wanted to say something, so I guess this does like correlate um, how 
how do you think that uh, these developments will impact the development of space ID ecosystem? Uh, do you see um, any hurdles or any benefits? Like, uh, what are what, what's your thoughts? For sure. I mean, like, we can only build products as good as the tools uh, that we have at our disposition, right? Like, we we don't mine gold using pickaxes anymore. Like, we use we use machines, right? Every time we see a technological uh, advancement letting us be more efficient at a certain task. Uh, we see a boom in product complexity or simply a boom in terms of like how fast we can ship certain products. Uh, and so this BMB Greenfield, like it will certainly let us work at a faster pace uh, here at Space ID. Like we've been using Node Rails tool set from the start. Uh, they've been a huge factor in how we were able to be at the stage that we're at now. That's why I'm very excited to have this uh, this AMA with uh, Node Real. Like a lot of the, the partners that we have where we do AMAs, um, like the, the integrator SDK, we stay like in, in communication. Uh, we have some little like site partnerships like here and there. Uh, but for Node Real, like we've been in contact like since the start, since the beginning, we've been building Space ID and we're just constant discussion uh, with them. They've been a huge help, um, as I said, again, to achieve like where we're at right now. So it's a no brainer that we'll continue working with Node Real and using their tools. Uh, and I mean, web three tool providers like they often work in the in the shadows from the perspective of crypto and web three users uh but they're probably the most important uh builders in the space because every dev rely on these kinds of products to build theirs like in return and uh sometimes it's not something that uh, regular like users are necessarily like aware of um, so needless to say that Node Real is one of the best foundation out there. Super excited about what's uh, to come next. And I mean, developing these tool sets, uh, it is good for the BNB chain ecosystem development as a whole, right? So you give better tools to devs and then you get better products. Um, and so it only helps again BNB chain to continue to expand, which in return is good for dot BNB value, right? Because when you want to dot domain, you do want BNB chain to continue to expand and grow at the pace that it's been doing like from, from the beginning. You want the chain to grow, you want more project, you want more users to come in uh, because then the demand uh, becomes higher for uh, domain names on there. So very good for, for everyone involved in this call right now. Yes, I, I, I totally agree with the solo because um, from the day one actually we collaborate with those space ID together. Yep. And uh, you can also find the Space ID APIs in our Node Real API marketplace. So actually, we we have collaborated a lot, and uh, the, the developers can just use the, the Space ID uh, Space ID APIs from the you know Node Real API marketplace. Oh yeah, we had like many partners that their product was built a little bit like differently, where they couldn't use our regular like SDK uh, for integrating like the domains. They needed like certain APIs, um, and Node Real basically developed those, and then our partners were able to use this tool to uh, finally end up integrating um, the .bmb domains. Uh, so very, very useful. I think it's safe to say Node Real is the OG partner space today. <laughs> yes, for sure, yeah. for sure. From day one, definitely. From day one, yeah. Uh, always been there uh people might have not known but but really they helped us uh, with all the foundation so thank you guys definitely for that um let's move the convo to the east denver uh event so jimmy uh from the node real side what are you guys going to do there yeah i think uh um i mentioned about the ETH Denver, I think all Web3 builders are look, quite looking forward to attend exciting meeting with the new ideas, to have them more and more new ideas there. Actually, Not Real will co-host the happy hour on 28th February with the BNB chain. Uh, we are welcoming you to join us, and if you are in Denver at that time. And uh, I can send the link to the Space ID community. I'm looking forward to meet the Space ID uh, community here. Uh, besides that, we also we will join the panel discussions on the build work and uh, also welcome to find us in the build London, uh, build Athens, and we share the we share the booth with the BNB chain and you will come and visit us there. So uh, because we 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 not only support the BNB's 
BNB ecosystem. We also support uh, multiple chains like the Ethereum, Aptos, Polygon, uh, Solana, etc., etc. So if you can join us uh, with other set events with our partners like Sui and Aptos, that would be very, very, very fantastic. So I'm very looking forward to it, and uh, we want to collaborate with the Web3 builders and users. We aim to you know, increase the possibilities uh, of different ideas, engage with the community, and resolve any issues from our developers and builders. Got it. So sounds very exciting. I'm pretty sad I won't be yeah, able to be there. Uh, won't be yeah. able to won't be able to meet you there again, unfortunately. But Solo is so Solo. What's the agenda for Space ID in East Denver? Yeah. So I personally will be there at East Denver alongside Casey as well, our media manager. You've heard participate in many of those AMAs. And I mean, we'll go as many events as possible, right? There's the main conference, um, but there's also so many side events around the event where like it's, it's huge. Um, there's like the core event, and then the week before, there's the, the, the builder week, uh, I would say, and there's just so many opportunities. Probably one of the best conferences you can go um, uh, over like the, the whole year. And I mean, these conferences are just great to forge relations with other projects and chains. And, and BD, it runs on these relations, uh, right? It's very, very important. Um, and Web3 runs on partnerships. So it's crucial to show face and to strengthen these relationships that turns eventually into bigger like partnerships. Uh, so again, as I said, we'll be for sure hanging out at the conference itself, not just the side events. Uh, we'll be at the BNB chain after our uh, event specifically as well, of course. Um, there's also a side conference aimed at wallets, uh, and we want to make sure we attend this one to just continue building uh, integrations into wallets since it's so important. Uh, and I mean, we'd be happy to meet community members as well if some of you plan to attend. Definitely, and as we've been growing, right, I think there's more chance to meet some, some loyal uh, space oh, yeah. community members. Yeah, so that's that's pretty awesome. Um, okay, yeah, so East Denver. and. Uh, Jimmy, I just have a last question for you um, uh, about, in general, about Norilo. So, what are you guys doing right now, and what is um, something that you would like to, you would like our listeners to know about what's coming up next? Um, yeah, that's really cool question. Actually, the the Norilo actually aims to provide more and more useful. Uh, blockchain technology from the layer one to layer two. For example, the the optimistic layer uh, roll up and the set chain solutions to our customers and users. And another thing is the op uh, open API marketplace. We want to you know build this kind of ecosystem together with the Web3 builders, and uh, just like we did with the we collaborate with the Space ID to provide the Space ID APIs. But for other cases, we we are very open and willing to collaborate with the community to identify the most uh, important problems to be solved by our infrastructure and the, and the data. At the same time, we also, you know, collaborating with our partners like Space ID, Galaxy, Fancy, and even Web2 and other uh, Web2 giants and others, other customers. So we want to enable our customers and partners to focus on the business instead of, you know, worrying about the complexity of the blockchain technology stack. Recently, actually, not only the Greenfield, um, we are also building the BNB Smart Chain, uh, the, the core technology foundations, like, you know, to have the better performance, uh, the, the faster finality. So these kind of things also are in our technology radar. Got it. Thank you. Awesome. And we, yeah. also, have the, we also have the campaigns coming up. Uh, and after, I have also a last question for Solo. After his answer, um, I'll just mention what the campaigns are about. And we'll also be uh, announcing it to everyone uh, after this, at the end or after the AMA, so you guys can go and complete uh, the tasks to participate. So that's going to be very fun. I'm uh, looking forward to that. Um, so thank you, Jimmy. And now I have a last question for Solo. Um, to anybody, to anyone that's interested, what are we doing next? Uh, what's next coming up? We have a lot of things that already came, um, but what's next? Everybody's always wondering what's next. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I can't go into specifics. We want to keep some juice for when it's really happening. 
but I mean, as I said, like the Space ID 2.0 testing uh, and then eventual launch, uh, partnerships with other domain providers. Uh, again, we want to add um, other top level domains in our aggregator because every time we do so, it just makes our SDK more powerful. Uh, again, just right now, if somebody in a great space ID, they become compatible with .eth, .pmb, .arv. Uh, but imagine if uh, they become compatible with 10 domain names uh, just in, in one integration. There's a lot of value out there. For those who don't know, there's uh, a product for wallets that does something similar that help them become like number one. It's called Wallet Connect, where uh, if you uh, integrate Wallet Connect, to your dApp, so it's only like one SDK that you have to do so. You become compatible with all the different wallets um, that have built using like their their infrastructure. So you do an integration once, and then you have dozens and dozens of wallets that are compatible with your dApp. And so that's what we're trying to do for domain names because they're popping out everywhere right now, and devs don't have time to integrate week after week new domain name providers. Uh, so being able to integrate just one, it's a huge uh, value for us, for sure. Um, apart from that, of course, like more integrations and not only adding other top level domains to our SDK, but also adding it to the SpaceX 2.0 platform um, and not only adding other top level domains, but also developing uh, those ourselves, right? And, we do plan on developing other ecosystem domains, but we also even plan on, on launching um, corporate um, top-level domains, so like domains specific to uh, certain Web3 projects. Um, so that should be pretty pretty interesting. You, you should hear about it uh, fairly soon. Um, and I mean, uh, apart from this, um, I, I just wanted to, to talk a, a little bit again about the, the value of those .erb and .bnb. Like, they're not in, in competition with each other, like as they serve different chains, right? So again, there can only be one set of your beloved <laughs> three digit domains on each chain. Uh, and I mean, as a user base for PMB chain and Arbitrum continues to expand, particularly during like again, the, the next bull market, uh, both .bmb and .erb domains become more valuable due to the limited supply of desirable names, uh, but increased demand as the chain grows. Uh, and it ties a little bit into what I said before, where uh, Notarial building better tools for developers uh, means good things for the growth of BNB chain, which means good things for the holders of .bmb domain. Um, and so having a .bmb domain indicates a belief in the future growth of the BMB chain while owning a .erb name signifies confidence in the growth of the Arbitrum chain. And currently both show very strong signs of growth. Um, it's why Space ID, we chose Arb ID for the merger instead of another name service. Um, and additionally, owning a, any Space ID domain represents a belief in the growth of Space ID itself uh, overall. So uh, another, another nice bonus. Um, and this also allows us to present a larger number of registered domains on our protocol when we pitch to partners and investors, uh, which bodes well for the future of Space ID, of course. Uh, like you often hear about how, for example, on Subable Domain, they have over like 2 million domains registered. But what people don't necessarily know when they look at this, at this number is that this 2 million is actually the combination of all their top level domains. So even for the top one, uh, .crypto, I think they, they barely have more registrations than .bnb, actually. Uh, not everybody knows necessarily like about this. Uh, and I mean, they've been in effect for a much longer time than .bnb has, which again shows the strength of, of our .bnb domains. Um, and as for future plans, again, there, there are two paths we want to take like in, uh, in parallel. Um, I, I touched about it like super, super quickly when I started my answer, but just to, to add more to it, uh, we do want to add more TLDs, so top level domains or aggregator. Um, again, both for Space ID 2.0 um, platform and for SDK as well. Um, and this is actually like super easy to do, this path, uh, because we can do it in a permissionless manner. Like we can decide to take, okay, this domain name and editor and an SDK without the permission of this other domain name provider. Um, although we prefer securing partnerships with these other providers uh, because that lets us simplify the marketing efforts to get, to get her, of course. And then again, the second path is to continue developing our own TLDs. Uh, so far, we've talked to maybe like seven, eight other chains uh, for this. Um, and it's mostly a matter of prioritizing based on the 
there's other competition right now in that ecosystem. Um, if the ecosystem team wants to help promote us, uh, if the chain is hyped, uh, and so forth. And I'm talking about blockchain domains, but as I said, uh, we do plan to release also corporate domains and are currently talking to a pretty big dab to help them release theirs. Um, in the future, we hope that uh, these like corporate domains, they become self-serve as well. So anybody can come in um, and then uh, launch their own corporate domain by themselves, uh, which is us, you know, approving it. And then revenue from the registration of these corporate domains goes straight up uh, to, to Space ID as well. So very, very good. Got it. So definitely uh, looking forward to, st I think everybody's looking forward to Space ID 2.0. I think everybody's going to be very um, excited to test out the actual product, right? It sounds very cool when we talk about it, but I personally cannot wait for everybody to go and interact. Uh, with Space ID 2.0. Um, it's a very, very good and intuitive platform uh, for a multitude of reasons, right? Uh, awesome. Thank you, Solo. And uh, Jimmy, we've just actually shipped the uh, announcement for the workshop campaign, and I urge everybody to go visit the events channel. Um, going into a little bit more details about what the workshop is about, I did mention this before. Uh, so we have a series of two campaigns. Uh, for the first one, you have to log into the Space ID API marketplace on Nodrial site. Um, there's a a thousand dollar worth of gift card reward for that. Uh, there's going to be a raffle, and the second one is uh, following the tutorials of the Nodrial API marketplace, and uh, we have a 500 USDT prize pool for that as well. So uh, you don't have to complete all of them, uh, like uh, if you just complete the, the first one or the second one, you'll be eligible. Uh, uh, you'll have a chance uh, to win from that raffle. But of course, if you do both, uh, which I would recommend, uh, you'll have a higher chance of uh, winning something overall, right? Uh, so very exciting. Uh, Jimmy, I think uh, it's going to be a great workshop event. Um, yep. Yeah. yeah, any comments yeah. on the actual event? Yeah, uh, actually, I, I just want to say we are very happy to have the chance to talk with the, with the Space ID community. and. Uh, uh, both uh, we will offer uh, the whopping one one thousand five hundred worth uh, of the rewards to to the people who join our you know the the, the campaign. So yeah, that's really really uh, exciting. Definitely, definitely an exciting one. Uh, it ends at uh, ends on February sixteenth. So make sure you guys go ahead and do that uh, before the end date. And that pretty much concludes today's AMA. Uh, I'd like to thank both of you guys for joining. It was very uh, fun having you here, Jimmy, giving us some good insights on Greenfield, East Denver. Uh, yeah, and before we do end, uh, before we have some um, last comment from you guys as well, uh, just a reminder, you can go claim the oath uh, if you listen in for 15 minutes. Uh, the link is in the community updates channel. So Solo, uh, Jimmy, any last comments from you guys? Um, yeah, well, thanks for listening in. Again, super happy to uh, have given some visibility to our long-term partner uh, on Nodereal. Super happy. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy. Um, thank you for having me here. And uh, I'm really, again, I, I want to say I'm really optimistic about the Web3 and uh, cross-planning technologies like Space ID and, of, of course, Nodereal itself. So let's see. Uh, we will try to different different approaches, different ideas together, and to make the you know the ecosystem better. Awesome, Jimmy. Hope you'll come back uh, on stage in the future. Uh, looking forward to that as well. So sure. thank you, everybody who listened. Uh, that concludes today's AMA. We'll see you guys next week. Bye bye, everyone. Make sure to go check yeah. out the as well.